family and friends, good morning. Thank you again for joining us this morning. Thank you for your time. Um, if you want to follow in the Word of God this morning, I'm going to be reading a very popular um, scripture and a story out of the Word of God in the book of John. So if you want to take a hold of your Bible, we're going to be reading out of uh, John chapter 6 this morning. Before we get into the scripture, I truly hope and pray with everything inside of me that the Lord is helping you um, already early in this week to be able to break down or push through barriers that might be uh, placed in your way, maybe uh, mental uh, barriers, maybe physical, maybe emotional, um, whichever way. I hope and pray that the Lord is already helping you earlier uh, in, in, in the week. Um, I spoke to someone um, this morning, yesterday morning, I'm sorry, Monday morning, I spoke to someone that said that the Lord had already started in their life breaking down barriers. Um, so I truly hope that that is the case for you. Let's have a look at another story in the Word of God where Jesus comes in and completely breaks down a barrier that humans were facing at that stage. So if you want to follow this morning, we're going to be reading out of the book of John, uh, chapter 6, from verse 1. So the Bible says here, popular scripture, Sometime after this, Jesus crossed to the far shore of the Sea of Galilee, verse 2, and a great crowd of people followed him because they saw the miraculous signs he had performed on the sick. Now, already early on in the scripture, we can see barriers that Jesus had broken down in people's lives. So for the sick that Jesus had healed, that was a barrier that they were facing, their health. Um, maybe blind or deaf or crippled or mute. And Jesus comes in and he heals them and, and they can now live a normal life. So for those people, the Lord had broken barriers in their life, helped them push through that. For the people that witnessed it, um, Jesus broke down barriers there for them as well. Because being human, walking past a, a crippled man every single day that is begging for money, uh, you know, a human tends to say to yourself, shame, poor man, that is um, his future. That's what he has to look forward to for the rest of his life. So uh, we are raised with a mental condition of that is life for them. And Jesus comes and he completely breaks down that, that mental barrier. And then those people started to see life in a different way. That the next time they see a cripple or they see a, a, a mute or a blind person, they are immediately reminded of the barrier breaker, which is Jesus. So that's the first piece um, of it. Verse 3. Then Jesus went up on a mountainside and sat down with his disciples. The Jewish um, Passover feast was near. When Jesus looked up and saw the crowd coming toward him, he said to Philip, one of his disciples, Where shall we buy bread? For these people to eat. He asked this only to test him. For he already had in mind what he was going to do. This test that the word of God is speaking about here. This is a barrier. Um, it, it, it's a barrier to a human being. That the Lord knows he can remove. So he's asking his disciple. Knowing that. What, what answer the disciple is going to give. The Bible goes on, verse, verse 8. I'm sorry, verse 7. Philip answered him, Eight months of wages would not be enough bread for each one of these to have one bite. There's um, disciple Philip's barrier. Immediately, he is looking towards finances. The Bible just told us that they just came from a, a huge scene where Jesus had performed signs, wonders, and miracles and healed sick people. 
But still, Philip had a mental barrier in his mind, thinking that, okay, maybe that's the only thing that Jesus can do. We're going to have to somehow look for money here to buy food. So then, verse 8, another of his disciples, Simon, uh, Peter's brother Andrew, spoke up. Verse 9, here is a boy with five small barley loaves and two small fish, but how far will they go among so many people? Another barrier that this man is facing. So he's not worried about the money to buy food. He can see food in front of him, but he's thinking to himself, this, this food can fit in both my hands, and there's 5,000 men sitting here. How are we going to do this? The Bible goes on, verse 10. Jesus said, Have the people sit down. There was plenty of grass in that place. And the men sat down, about 5,000 of them. Jesus then took the loaves, gave thanks, break, broke them, and distributed it to all who were seated as much as they wanted. He did the same with the fish. When they had um, all had enough to eat, he said to his disciples, gather up the pieces that are left um, over. Let nothing be wasted. So they gathered and filled 12 baskets with pieces um, of just the five loaves um, and, and the fish that they had eaten. After the people saw the miraculous sign that Jesus did, they began to say, Surely this is the prophet who has come to save the world. Family in Jesus, another huge barrier that Jesus has come and, and removed or, or broken in the lives of his disciples. So two disciples were bold enough to step forward and give an answer. Even though the answer was wrong, they were courageous enough to give an answer. The one said, Lord, it's going to take almost a whole year, eight months of wages, to be able to buy a little bit of food for each one of these men. Another disciple said, Lord Jesus, all we have is this handful of food that I'm holding here now. It belongs to this little boy, but I don't think we can do anything with it. The other disciples didn't even venture a, 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 an answer to give to Jesus. They didn't even want to go down that road. So each one of them, they were facing a barrier, a barrier of faith in Christ. Again, the, the, the same with what we um, read about yesterday. Um, you know, the, the racism that we read about yesterday with the uh, Gentile um, widow. The family in Jesus today, we can see again that, that our King, our Master, our Lord and our Savior, He is here to help us break down and push through those barriers that are placed before us. Every single day, I, I am almost certain that we face some sort of barrier somewhere. I, I ran into someone yesterday morning that was facing a huge barrier. In their eyes, that was where they, they stopped at that very moment. Thank the Lord God Almighty that the Lord showed me something else and I shared it with that person and immediately there was a light bulb moment. So family in Jesus, if, if somebody else isn't able to push through their barrier or break their barrier down, that's where you and I come in. That's where the wisdom, the knowledge, and the insight of the Holy Spirit comes in. So it's good to spend time with friends and family and, and with a family in, in Christ so that that scripture where the, the Word of God says we are to carry each other's burdens, that can manifest in our lives. Because by you and me spending time with the family in Christ, we can hear what barriers they have in their life. And maybe we've already gone through it. Or maybe the Lord drops a, a piece of wisdom in our spirit and we share it with them. 
and they are able to break through and break free from that. So here we can see in this story again today, brothers and sisters in Christ, Jesus is here to break down every single barrier that you and I face in our walk with him. That's why he is the good shepherd. That's why he is the shepherd that leads from the front. He calls us and he says, come here to me. Yeah, come to my voice. And wherever there are barriers, you look at me, you focus on me. Not, not the barrier. The barrier is small. I am huge. I am your king. I am almighty. I, I am the beginning and the end. I am the creator of heaven and earth. I knew you before you were even formed in your mother's womb. I know what plans I have for you. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. That barrier that's in front of you will not harm you if you keep your eyes on me, Jesus Christ. So, brother and sister in Christ, another day that we have to look forward to where we know that Jesus is here to break down any barrier that we may face today. Amen. Let us pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, again we thank you today, Lord, for victory. Victory in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, Lord, that irrelevant of what it is, before we start to panic and before we start to worry and, and, and get riddled with um, anxiety and stress, Pray, Lord Jesus, that we will stand still and be still. And that we will know that you are our God. And that you hold the key to everything. Lord, all, all victory. You hold the key to that, Lord. So I pray, Lord Jesus, that whatever barrier my, my brother or my sister in Christ is facing today, I pray that through the power of the Holy Spirit, through the insight that the Holy Spirit gives us and through the wisdom, the gift of wisdom of the Holy Spirit, that you will reveal to, to them, to us today, how to push through those barriers. Blessed, blessed, blessed be the name of the Lord. We love you, Lord Jesus. We worship you. We thank you so much, Lord, for all the victories you have already given us and all the victories you are still going to give us. So we look forward to that, Lord Jesus. We bring you glory, honor, praise and thanks. And we pray, we ask all of this in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, family in Jesus. Um, I hope that you have a blessed day today. I hope that you have a day filled with victory in Jesus' name. And then I hope and I pray and I trust that when you do get that victory, that you will be able to testify about it because that is how we defeat the enemy in our lives. By the blood of the Lamb, which Jesus um, already took care of, and by the word of our testimony. Every single time we testify about what Jesus has done in our life, we break down barriers. Just remember the opposite, family in Jesus. Every time we, um, we doubt and every time we speak negative over our lives and over someone else's lives, we build up a barrier in our, in our minds and in our spirits. So let us be barrier breakers. Let us stand up, take our minds captive to the obedience of Christ. Let us speak the word of God. Let us meditate on the word of God and let us walk in victory today. So until we meet again tomorrow, be blessed in Jesus' name. Amen.